I was fortunate in France to photograph many well-known people. This is Francois Mitterrand, the president of France. This is Raquel Welsh. I photographed her a lot. I did her one minute, uh, one minute, her one woman show in New York. I photographed her for Playboy's 50th anniversary, the cover of Paris Match, a ton of different magazines and places and uh, in location in my studio. Uh, I enjoyed photographing her. She was uh, an icon at the time, a fascinating lady, and uh, I had some really great experiences traveling with her. We went once to Cabo San Lucas with her daughter Tawny, and that was where we had shot the Playboy shots. This is Jerry Hall. Uh, she came to Paris before she married Mick Jagger. She was just breaking into modeling. This is Ronella Muti, an actress. I photographed her in my studio, built a special set out of mirrors and things for that. This is uh, Catherine Deneuve. This was in the Bahamas where I went to photograph her for a film called Le Sauvage. In fact, I took my whole family there. I think, uh, well, my whole family at the time was Jessica. I think she was just a week or two old. And uh, it was a great experience. I really had a terrific time. We got to see my mom in Bermuda. We went to a show in New York. This is uh, Jean-Louis Tritignon, and I became good friends with him. I did a lot of films that he was in. Charles Aznavour. Uh, for a number of years, I was also the official photographer for Grace Kelly and her family, the Royal Family of Monaco. And I used to go there and photograph them, their family, their kids. This is with Albert, and this is... I photographed them playing in their, with their kids. I photographed them in walking in their garden, like in this shot here. I had a lot of friends that were also doing movies at the time. This is Klaus Kinski and a model I worked a lot with called Vivica. I don't remember the name of the movie. Uh, Jean Marais. Now, this is Marissa Berenson. This was for uh, in vogue for Laura Cesaro, a fashion designer at the time. Charlotte Rampling. Did a number of movies with her. This is a um, cover of Elle magazine with Catherine Deneuve, and then a Paris Match cover uh, with Cleo Goldschmidt, another actress. Dominique Sanda. Dominique uh, actually married a friend of mine, Frederic Pardo, a painter uh, who was a very close friend and godfather to one of my kids. This is American actor Henry Fonda. That was on the Pont Neuf in Paris. This is Isabel Hubert, as, uh, she was in Heaven's Gate. Um, Jacqueline Bissett, I did a number of pictures for her. This was in French Vogue. This was Jeremy Irons. Leo Goldschmidt again. And this was uh, one of the shots of Raquel on uh, the beach in Cabo San Lucas for Playboy. This was, I, she was exercising. She did so much exercise every day. I was, uh, it was amazing. This was when I think she was just getting prepared for her hair and makeup in a shot, but I liked the shot. It was a beauty shot actually in the magazine. I forget what magazine this was for. It was one of the first pictures I took of her. This was also from the Playboy shots. It's really been a long time since I took a lot of these pictures and I honestly I don't remember where all of them were and I don't even remember who all of the people are. Ah, oh, this is Romy Schneider. She was such a talented actress. What a beautiful lady. This was in Greece. I remember that was in Greece. I don't remember what was happening then, but uh, she was an amazing, really amazing lady. This is Vivica again, the model who was in the movie of Jus Chacin, I think this was. This is Sydney Rome, an American actress living in France. A good friend of mine, Volker Schlorndorf, uh, he was a German director, did a number of really good, interesting films. And this is Catherine again on the set of Le Sauvage. This is a film with Yves Montand, and uh, this is 
the portrait of Eve as well. Oh, this was part of a series I did of French writers and philosophers. Uh, it was for the for an anniversary of a magazine called Le Point, which is kind of like their Time magazine, I guess. And these pictures actually all are hanging in the Bibliothèque Nationale over there. They're very well-known philosophers and writers and really interesting people. This guy's whole apartment was so full of books. This was just, that was amazing. He was the head of, this was, maybe I might have been the Bibliothèque Nationale or one of the libraries anyway he ran. Well, this is a shot of a guy who just got out of prison. I didn't know that. He, I, I took the picture and afterwards I learned that he just got out of prison. This is uh, Philippe Noiret. And so that's it. I hope you enjoyed these.